Welcome to the Do Better Podcast. I am your host, Commander Theo Coop, aka Mr. Goodbread, and I'm back with another video. Let's get to it. 50,000 subscribers. Let's go. Bang! Bang! It's good! And salute to the homie Woke Quill. Woke Quill is the one who tipped me this video. If you guys got any content you want to send me, email me. My contact information is in the description. Let's get it. Hey, okay, good morning. Sexy Black Bunny is here. Okay. Today there we're gonna talk about dating men in prison, okay? I'm gonna tell y'all the real deal because I experienced it already and I've been through these things, okay? The first thing I'm gonna talk about is my experiences. I dated two people, two guys in two different prisons, okay? Of twice? York. One, he was sexy, gorgeous. I met him on Inmate Mingle, okay? I don't know why, don't ask me why. Oh, why would you go online to look for love? That's the same question I asked myself, okay? And this guy was so gorgeous. He was chocolate, oh my God. He, so, he spoke so many languages. I was just like, oh my God, he's just gorgeous. You know, Jamaican, Haitian, Cuban. He spoke all that shit, okay? And, you know, I started writing him, reaching out to him, then he reached back, and then all of a sudden, he was fell in love already. Like, I was just like, wow, like, that was fast. I should've known the sign, you know what I'm saying? Then, always telling me I'm beautiful. Oh, you beautiful, you just, you just, and then the third, all early. So, then I started to go see him. I, I drove 10 hours from Jersey, Atlanta City, New Jersey, to go see him, right? Hey, yo, what the fuck? Did she just say she drove 10 hours? Man, I ain't driving 10 hours for a month. If you're not my wife or came from my ball sack, meaning my children, close intimate family, I ain't driving 10 hours for nobody outside that ring. I beg your pardon. The point where he was asking me for my social security number, um, asked me to do illegal shit, bring drugs up there. These are the signs, ladies, to run away. No shit. Don't make any man feel like you less than a person because they think they the shit, because they, they locked up in prison. And they used to be somebody. Now they're in prison, they're doing a lot of time. And that's the wrong place to look for love. If you don't love yourself, how can another man love you? Yeah, that's true, but do they not have common sense in Jersey? He's an inmate. And that's not to say that all inmates are terrible people. Even though I've never done any time, I have my issues as well with the criminal justice system. Why are you a free woman entertaining men in jail whatsoever? Make that make sense for me. And that's what I had to learn. People couldn't say, oh, you stupid, you just in a third. Yeah. Maybe going Dumb through fuck. those experiences had, had to show me, you know what I'm saying? That's not love. Love don't supposed to hurt. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, I felt like that they was using me. And they did a good job at it because I was so ma manipulated to the point I believe everything they said to me. They'll make you feel special. They'll make you feel like um, you met the perfect man in the world. And they do all those things. They send you flowers. And this is another thing. They'll send you flowers and all this to get you, to row you, to, um, row you in. Real you you in. know what I'm saying? Like they catch the fit, a big fish, right? And, you know, just to get you to do more things for them than you, they did for you just to get you to come. Oh, my God, he love me. He sent me flowers. He sent me candy. He sent me all this stuff, right? You gotta be careful, you know what I'm saying? Like, it was the worst experience I ever had because it really hurt me because I really, they caught me at a vulnerable moment because I was so hurt and I was going through a lot of stuff. So I heard about this online, you know, prison dating sites and I decided to reach out to them and see, let me, let me see what these, I hope these guys are different. They not. That shit is crazy, man. And salute to the homie Media Man. He did a live stream recently, and he played a clip of these women on those inmate dating sites. It was the most bizarre thing to me. Why are y'all looking for men locked up when there's so many men 
while here are free. But let me guess, they don't have the swag. They're boring. This stupid shit. They pick girls that has low self-esteem, that has a bag. They call it in prison. They call it um bag. Uh, losing a bag. So they losing a bag if you fall back and you 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 catch on to their bullshit, right? You losing a bag. So it took me a long time to realize, yo, I'm 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 gorgeous. I got a good sex appeal. I can Man. dress. I got a lot going on for myself, and there's so many single men out here to deal with men that's locked up. First of all, gorgeous. Stop the cap. No, I'm joking. I'm not trying to be mean. She's an average looking woman. She doesn't have on any makeup. She's an average looking woman. I just find it a bit funny how every single woman is thinks she's gorgeous or dive. When us men, we all know exactly where we fit in. But you're absolutely right, man. Absolutely right. What are you doing? You know what I mean? And the thing about that is do not allow anybody to put you down to make themselves better feel better i'm sorry and it's so sad because a lot of women out there are believing these guys and they're risking everything for these dudes they sacrifice anything they don't have nothing to lose these guys are doing 10 20 years of life and they looking for women to use I may get niggas mad about with this video. I don't care because I feel like I had to speak on it to let some of these females know that these guys is is not what y'all think it is. Some some guys are mean well. I mean, they is looking for love, but some guys are looking for help. Some niggas are looking to use and manipulate any female that come their way. They're just looking for love and they not looking for that. You know what I'm saying? You gotta love yourself. You gotta look in the mirror, put on makeup, get your hair done, walk with a strut, baby. Go out and make yourself feel good. Go around people. You don't need to go to a fucking prison or look on prison sites to look for a man. And they don't even, you don't even know these people. You never met them on the outside. I'm making this video because I'm wanting all females the good signs and the bad signs of dating men in prison. Good signs. You know what I mean? Because most of them guys has drug habits and they need to feed their addiction. So they're going to get you to, oh, baby, bring some drugs up here. Oh, send it through the mail. Oh, you're not going to get caught. They don't They don't be on it like that in this prison. And they risking your life, your kids, everything that you work hard for, all because of their selfishness. Hold on, first of all, if you're a single mom with kids- Hey yo, what the fuck? Why in the hell would you be talking to an inmate? I'm gonna leave that there. I'm not even gonna touch that. The bigger part is she's absolutely right. And how stupid are you to do something illegal and as crazy as to try to smuggle drugs into jail or try to mail it to them or anything like that? That's just a felony. You're gonna end up locked up right with they ass, bro. I'm locked up, they won't let me out. And you deserve it for being fucking stupid. They this not gonna get any shit. Trouble. They probably get thrown in a box. They probably get two years added on a sentence. They wouldn't give a F. Because why? They already doing a lot of time anyway, so they don't care about you. A real man that's supposed to love you, that's in so-called prison, wouldn't even put you through that. They were like, you know what? Look, do what you can. I'm not gonna put a lot of pressure on you. You know, um, I really love you, that's in the third. It was show. I had to love myself first. And I put, I thought myself as ugly. I thought I would never get fond love. I would never feel like, you know, that person won't come to me. And it took me a while and this person came to me. You know, he, we just so compatible. He's out here in the real world, not in prison. And we love each other, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, I'm not gonna pull. One thing I'm gonna let y'all know, do not love someone more than you love yourself. Cause if you, if you do, you wanna get hurt. And I learned that the hard way. They give you an attitude. Look, I don't care about your attitude, but guess what? Huh. <laughs> good day, have a good day, cause you ain't gonna mess up my day, baby. Cause guess what? Everything's good over here, honey. Ain't nobody got time for your bullshit. Straight up. So be careful dating men in prison. Make sure you know everything about that man. See the, the red flags if he asks you for too many too much money in the, in a short period of time. Y'all just started talking for the last couple weeks. That's a red flag. 
if he already saying he love you and want to marry you and all that, red flag. Okay? So, be careful, ladies. I'm just telling you as a personal experience. Don't do it. Because my experiences, I learned from a hard way. I felt stupid. But sometimes when you Shocking. vulnerable and you're hurt, you've been hurt so many times, you fall for things like that. And people would judge you and say, and you know how I know that I, you know, had myself in a bad situation uh, in both situations when a lot of people that care about me was kept warning me about it and I didn't listen. So if you got friends around you telling you, oh, don't mess with him because he's a user or whatever and stuff like that. And sometimes people you don't shouldn't listen to people, but if you're dating somebody in prison and they know through the grapevine about these people, you better listen to them. It's only right to listen to them. You know what I mean? And I'm, I'm coming at y'all raw. I'm not making no video talking about, you know, all this. I'm being real right now. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, I just want y'all to, y'all ladies out there, if y'all watching this, please be careful. Because if you know, like I know, if you ain't smart enough and that nigga say, oh, can you um put that package in your pussy? And when you get up there, and guess what? The motherfucking cops gonna handcuff you, and you'll be right in there with him, and you're gonna think to yourself, oh, shit. I fucked up. Then they send you a letter when they just met you, talking about, oh, I'm down with this, and that, and blah, 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 and they ask you to bring the drugs up or send it through the mail. The cops is catching everything. So if you wanna put yourself in that predicament, be my guest. I'm just warning you ladies not to put yourself in that predicament for any man that's locked up you got too much to lose behind a jerk off like that her, that video of hers was about 11 minutes in which she described the red flags and look out for when you're dating an inmate and it puzzles me that her video was that long and she didn't say the one thing that she should have said and the video should have been about two seconds don't date fucking inmates man ah! It's good. Just don't do it. I did videos when I first started my channel nine, 10 months ago on a CO giving tips on how to date inmates. Instead of saying the one thing she should have said from the beginning, don't date fucking inmates, man. I applaud this woman for at least being smart enough not to do some of those things she suggested in the video, i.e. bring in inmate drugs or attempting to mail it or anything like that. Especially when this woman, I don't know if she specifically had children, but I guess she was speaking from an aspect of a single mom. Think, look, think about this shit. A single mom being locked up going to jail for, by trying to smuggle contraband into a prison and you have babies at home over some jail dick. That you can't even get, bro. What the hell is wrong with you people? What the fuck is wrong with y'all, man? But hey, what the hell do I know? I'm just a weed head talking on YouTube. You guys let me know what you think after party in the comments. It's your commander, Theo Coop, but you can call me bitch. This is the dumbest shit I've ever seen. Do better. Uh, excuse me, bitches?